Ano? Hi, is this Miss Teo? I received your email regarding last week's charity event. Yeah, the event was organized by our company. Yes, the photos were taken by us. No, 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 no. We, on, we don't mean to waste this data. I'm very sorry, we will... Hello? Miss Teo? Hello? I think we're in trouble. What happened? Okay, Chloe, take a deep breath, calm down, and tell us exactly what happened. Okay, a woman who attended last week's private charity event emailed a complaint this morning. I just called her, but she was very angry and kept shouting at me. She didn't even let me explain and apologize. What was her complaint about? She was unhappy that we took her photos during the closed door event and posted it on our company's website. She claimed that she didn't know that we were taking photos and that we were using them for publicity. She wants to file a complaint against us. Hmm, this sounds serious. Did she tell any of our staff or volunteers that she doesn't want her photos to be taken on the day? Not that I know of. But we did have photographers taking photos at the event. If she was concerned, she could have stayed away from the photographers or contact any one of us. Hmm. up? you are our data protection officer. What do you think we should do? I think we have to take down her photos from our website right away until we find a solution to the problem. Okay, I'll do it right away. Monsa, we need to prevent this type of complaints. We need to improve our SOPs on collecting, using or disclosing personal data. We should also look at how we can better obtain consent and notify our customers and event participants on the purposes of collecting, using or even disclosing their personal data. Yes boss, I'll work on it. Good, I'll wait for your update. Hmm, I think it's time I look at how the other organisations are doing it. Let's go. Staff feels the new data protection policies require too much work. Boss says I need to work harder, that I need to set up policies that suit our operations to find a way to get customers to allow us to collect and use their data. Ah, uh, what should I do? How? Early childhood education provider Modern Montessori International has several good personal data protection policies that we can learn from. Staff are also involved in the development of data protection measures and have a training program that enables staff to relate the measures to their areas of work. I'll be meeting with them to find out more. Good morning, Dr. Chandru. Good morning. I'm Ponsa. Nice meeting you. Pleasure Thank you meeting for you. your time. You're most welcome. Implementing personal data protection measures, it's not an easy task. Just when I thought I had everything under control, there will always be new problems. So, how did MMI do it? Can you share with me some of the measures in place? Sure, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, before that, just a quick introduction. Uh, Modern Montessori, we are an international group. Our presence is in 15 countries. Now, in Singapore, we have about 30 centres. More than 3,000 children are with us. Because we are a relatively a large preschool, we are very familiar with system implementation. Now, when the Data Protection Act came into force. Immediately, we set up a committee because we are access to a lot of information uh, in terms of uh, parents' uh, personal information, child personal information, including medical records of the child. First, a data protection officer was assigned to develop a personal data protection system. The law's nine obligations were mapped out against our operations. We noted where we collect personal data from parents and where and when the information will be used. Most importantly, 
be projected potential situations where the data used can go wrong, be misused or even leaked. Then we target those areas with measures. Enrollment was one key process that was enhanced. MMI seeks the parents' consent to use and disclose their data to support the provision of services and also to use pictures and videos taken of students during activities for MMI's online and offline publications. MMI consolidates what parents have consented to in a list that is distributed to parents along with its uh, standard enrollment handbook. From day one, staff are briefed, are told, are instructed that none of this information should be revealed to anyone. So we are very, very careful, very, very detailed. And in fact, most of the information are in lock, and they are only access to the important personnel of the company. You've got more than 3,000 students. How do you safeguard um, the photos and videos taken during their classes or outdoors activities? We are very particular about you know, uploading photographs. Uh, as far as the company's policies are concerned, we prohibit staffs from taking photographs and uploading into their personal Facebook or uh, any other social media. And this is communicated very strictly uh, through our employee handbook. However, it's, it's, you know, it's a social media world. We still need to communicate with parents. So having got consent from parents, you know, the permission to use photographs and videos, what we do, we upload them in, into our company's Facebook. But they're strictly company's photographs. My colleagues, they'll have this uh, resistance. So I'm not sure if MMI has the same problems when you guys are pushing out all these new measures. It is, it is very natural for staff to resist. Uh, in particular, when you want to implement new policies, uh, whichever that does not uh, make them feel comfortable, of course, they will always resist. But because from day one, we are very, very particular about data protection. And if, as I mentioned earlier, even before the Act came into force. So this is something that we brief our staff and they undergo training. And they, in the training, they have been strictly told that this information are confidential and we owe an obligation to our parents in having to make sure that the information are kept within the organization. During training, we shared specific situations where staff need to take action or precautionary measures. In this way, staffs were more keen about the measures as they could relate to the situation. What are some of the benefits of implementing all these data protection policies? Well, as, uh, as for MMI, we already had our pro data protection policies in place even before the Act uh, came into force. Uh, this helped us to implement a more comprehensive uh, policies and a deeper understanding uh, of, of the entire Act. And it also helped us to put across to our staff the, 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 the greater importance of protecting this data. So in, 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 in that sense that, you know, since now it is legalized, there is a need for staff to be more careful, you know, and observe things more carefully and make sure that these policies are strictly implemented. So in, in that sense that we, we have transformed ourselves to a, to a more professional way of, you know, delivering our services. What's the cost of implementing all these measures? <laughs> okay, the cost is about $20,000. But it's money uh, well spent. We needed to have a legal consultation. We needed to upgrade our IT system. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, it's money well spent. The customers are happy. You know, parents are uh, confident. You know, they feel that the information is well protected. So it's money worth spending. Indeed. Got that. Thank you, Dr. Chandru. Thank you. Thank you.
hot news. We just spoke with Miss Teo over the phone. She's a lot friendlier after we apologise for the inconvenience caused. We have also told her that we've taken down the photos. Actually, she just wanted us to alert her in future if we needed to use her photos. <sighs> Glad that this is settled. But we still need to communicate our policies better to participants of future events. Don't worry, I'm working on new SOPs for that. I couldn't agree more. This brings me to my next announcement. Due to a good response in the recent events that we have organised, I was thinking of introducing a membership program that awards regular event participants with rewards or loyalty points. Loyalty points? You mean we can use the loyalty points to redeem discounts and special gifts? Um, something like that. Such a program would involve the collecting of participants' personal data. So I think we should implement personal data protection measures for the membership program. And since we are new to this program, so... Oh, oh! Okay, I'll, I'll work on that. <laughs> right away. Great. <laughs> okay. My company is planning to start a membership program for all our loyal customers. That's why I'm here at Chan Brothers to look for Miss Janet Chan. Senior Business Development Manager and my fellow Data Protection Officer. Thank you for meeting with me, Ms Chan. I see you've got a really huge crowd today. Yes, today in fact is our travel fair. Oh, no wonder. And your customers, they, they, they come along not just with cash, some of them with credit cards and their passport. So you handle so much personal information on a daily basis. What measures do you have in place to protect them? Before they uh, process the information to us, um, such as giving us passports, credit cards, we already notify what is the purpose. We will proceed it with the booking process, such as uh, hotels and flights um, details and bookings. That means you have to share such information with third parties hotels, airlines, even tour guides. Exactly. So how do you safeguard them? When we pass the customer information to the third parties, we have to make sure our partners is handling properly. The information given is only for the purpose defined it. And is uh, have the, all the terms and conditions listed with the contract, the third party must uh, understand and compile with. One of the well-known TV programs is by Chan Brothers. When your customers, they appear on TV, how do you let them know that their images are going to be used not just on TV but maybe on social media as well? And when the customer join our uh, celebrity tours, they sure want to get in touch or take photos with our celebrities but they doesn't mean that they want to appear on the public medias or social medias. For the customer, when they join the package, we have given them a terms and conditions. The terms and conditions clearly list that um, in the show is when they join the tours, they have chance to be video shoot. We will let them know that the images that they appear in the videos or in the in the pictures will be used for marketing purpose. In case they don't want their personal data to be used, then we will uh, inform the crews try not to take the videos or photos with them in the show. And furthermore, when they have joined the pre-departure briefings, then they can inform our tour leaders and tour guide as well. Then we try to avoid their face as personal data appear in the in the in the show. From our IT side, um, they have uh, implemented the secured lock-in, automated lockout, as well as uh, firewalls and regular update on the server security, so as to make sure our data is securely saved in our servers. Do you have to train your staff regularly? Yes, we do have training to our new staff as well as the staff who want to uh, refresh their memory on the PDPA policy. On a quarterly basis, we will have the internal trainings uh, to update us on what is the policy, reminders to be given to them, so what is the things they should do and should not do regarding the PDPA's um, uh, policy. Yeah. So it works like a constant reminder. Yes, definitely. And then, in fact, our information is saved in the intranet, so the staff, whenever they want to take a look of the uh, policy as well as they want to uh, further update their infos they can anytime check at our internet as well as in the customer website we have the terms and conditions listed in the website so that they can have a easier reference so what happens to all this information after the tour the information will be kept for a reasonable time frames afterwards the soccer will be purged 
and the Huckabee will be destroyed as well. Everything gone? Yes. Wow. You've got some measures put in place for the Travel Club loyalty program. Can you share with us more? Yes, the Travel Club, in fact, is our loyalty programs to the customer. Whenever they want to join, they can sign up online, offline, and they can have the options to choose the communication channels. It definitely increases our efficiency in terms of the communications because customer they can choose what communications they would like to have, no matter it's in SMS formats or in EDM. In terms of customer service, how do you think all these policies have helped you? With the implementations of the PDPA as well as in of our policies, the way we communicate with the customer is more efficient and targeted. Customer can choose the communications they like and the information they like to receive. In terms of the marketing efficiency, it definitely increased. On the other hand, the customer will be more confident in passing us their data because we have comprehensive personal data policies to safeguard the information they have given to us. So it's like a win-win situation, not just for you, but also for your customers. Exactly. What happens if you need to make some amendments? Who can be authorised to do that? Only authorised staff can access to the personal data and they have to log into their own computer at the first and second, they also need to log into the system by their own password. Not everybody can access our data. And you can always track who made those amendments. Exactly, because with the login, all the amendments will be listed and tracked in the system. Thanks a lot, Janet. You're welcome. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. I'm sure you know the importance of consent when we're handling the personal data of our customers. So I'll let explain some of the new measures that we've put in place in terms of data protection SOPs. Now for our customers and our event participants, I feel that they'll be more confident with how we use their data if we know why we're collecting their data. We should also share with them who, where, when, what and how we're going to use them. And most importantly, we have to get their consent. For future events, we should put up signs prominently, you know, perhaps at the registration desk or the entrance to the event. The sign should clearly inform participants that photos of the attendees will be taken at the function for publicity purposes. The sign should also indicate that participants can contact us if they are concerned with the photography. Good point, I think we should clearly display the signs so everyone can see it and if they feel uncomfortable with having their photos taken, they can just tell us. As an additional measure, our registration form should also highlight that photography or videography will be conducted at the event and these images may be posted on our website. The forms will allow participants to give us their consent or let us know if they have any issues with it. In addition, I think we should handle all complaints properly and we should let the customers know what the solutions are. This way, they will trust us. Great. I'm happy to see the team working together to improve our company's personal data protection policies. We must also remember to follow through operationally and as for the data that we've collected, we should only use them for what they've been consented for. Ha! Huh, so many things to remember. Not to worry. Here we go. This is a handbook. One for each of us. You know, I understand that it's not easy to remember so much stuff in such a short period of time. It's important that everyone is aware of their role and be empowered to protect the personal data under their care. So, there's this handbook. You can refer to it and inside the handbook, you'll see specific areas of operations that's relevant to us, all of us. You know, if after reading it, you still have got queries, please feel free to ask me out for lunch and we can have a discussion or we can set up a meeting. Meantime, if you've got an idea of how to improve any of the measures in here, let me know and we can add more policies as we go along. Well, it may have been difficult handling this complaint, but it is great that our whole company has learned from this incident. Hey 
guys, I've emailed you the details about this Saturday event as well as the contact list of our donors for next month's charity gala dinner. Don't forget about the meeting starting soon. I have a fast. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're rushing off to send it up now. Joyce, have you sent out the invites yet? One of the VIPs just called about it. Please send them out quickly. Yes, boss! Let me make sure the email was sent out. Oh my goodness! What happened? I accidentally sent the wrong file to the VIPs of our upcoming gala dinner. We also have to make sure that our office is secure. As they say, we are only as strong as our weakest link. You know, at a point when you start to accept an order, to packing, to delivery, there's so many processes involved and so many people involved. So how do you share all the information? Did you send the documents to the correct email addresses? Yes, I used passwords to protect the attached documents and send the passwords separately to our recipients. All thanks to our SLP handbook. Mm -hmm.